Okay, so now I think it's time to work on the doors and windows. Um, so I'm just going to turn off some of the layers, the roof bar, uh, the eaves bracket, and did I create some? First, I'm going to turn off everything, and I'm going to create some um, layers for the details that we created before. So. Timber ornaments and now I'm gonna select those here, turn them into a group, set it to that layer and turn it off. Uh, create the timber balustrade layer and select up those make a group. So now let's go back to the wall exterior. That's what. Okay. So I know that this window, this one as well, those three, and this they're like the the same size of window. So what we're gonna do is create one and transform it as a component, and put them into place here. So what I'm gonna do first is create a rectangle. And take that rectangle, make it as a component, say window one, and then I'm gonna place that component everywhere where there's that windows. Now we get all our windows, all those windows into position. And what we're gonna do is just take one, put it aside, and we're gonna do our design of the window on this component here, and because it's component, it's gonna modify everything that's around. Okay, so let's get in. Um, so first, I'm gonna make it a thickness of 90. And um, now it's it's really up to you how you design it. I'm gonna give a contour of like 25. Then I'm gonna offset it again 20. And base I'm gonna delete. And this one I'm gonna push in. Let's say 20. Then. I'm gonna make a copy of that. Get it signed. And I'm gonna draw it into a rectangle. Offset it. Let's say 100. Till it inside. And this is gonna be the facing around the window. So I don't need that. And then I'm gonna give it a thickness of. Um, 50, so that's my facing. See, that's all around. And let's go back into the component. Uh, select this, make it as a group. I'm gonna make another group, another rectangle to create um, the glass. So I'm gonna give a thickness of um, 16, make it as a group. And I'm gonna push it back. Let's say ten. Oops, push it back a bit more. Five. Okay. And now I think I'm gonna add a sill at the bottom. So let's go back into the group. Make a rectangle. Push it. Uh, say. 75, make it a bit smaller, 15, make it as a group, and put it under the window, like this. I think maybe I'll, I'll give it more thickness. And I'm gonna 
create a little overhang on the side. 25 and 25. So now I get my windows. And I think I'm gonna divide them so it's just like in the photos, like across. Let's go back inside. Um, I'm gonna make a little rectangle here, same size as this one. Extrude it. Point of this object and place it at the midpoint of here. And now I can take this and rotate it. Then select the face, resize it. Looks so like touch this. Okay, so now we got a window. And one thing, because I want to make them transparent, so now we you can go into the material tab, uh, go to transparent, translucent, and choose one of the material. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna get into inside the component. So that's the, the glass, and I'm just gonna click and paint over this. And get our windows. Oh, so now we gonna create the smaller windows, and for that, I'm just gonna keep that component here, and um, make a copy, put them into place, make them unique. And get inside, um, and then I'm just gonna take all the faces that's here, drag them to this side, make them smaller. Um, so let's take this. Jesus, we need to be a bit more. And this one as well. Gonna remove the those bar here. So I can end the window, and because this one I think is the same as those one, I'm just gonna take this, make a copy, and bring it here. Oh, as you can see, the the glass window wasn't resized, so I can just do it here. Select the face. Oops. I can insert the group and move it into position. Tatum. Okay, copy. Oh, as you can see, this one actually the window is a bit bigger. So I'm just going to make them unique and push those. So now I'm just going to stretch the element to fit that opening. Okay. 
Mm. So now we get this window here. I'm gonna use this one as a to create a new window. Because I get the same height, same head height, same silhouette. I'm gonna make them unique. And as what I did for the previous window, I'm just gonna uh, resize them. Because it's just not one panel, I'm gonna put three panels. So I'm just gonna create another bar here at this level. group and because I want it to be equal parts so I start from here make a copy here and divide by three and make sure to delete the one at the end um, actually I don't want this so uh, what I do select those two I'm gonna scale them um, you can't really see the button here but if you go over it yeah, you'll see them appear. And just drag down. And okay. Oops. And delete those bottle here. So now we got all our windows. And what I like to do is to put all the windows in the same group. So I'm going to hide the wall layer, select all the windows, make them as a group, create a window layer, windows. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the doors, it's the same principle as doing a window. And let's just check our images. So the doll leaf has some kind of um, design as well, so we're gonna add that. Okay, or we can add hide the windows. So create the rectangle now the face. And yeah. Select it, reverse the face. Um, offset it. 25 and I'm gonna go down 10 offset again now this time I'm gonna offset by 50 um, oh, I forgot to one step let's go back I uh, didn't give him a thickness, so I'm just going to pull it 90. Then we do offset 25. Bring this line down. Then push it 20. Offset it to 100. And then now I need to create four rectangles. Um, let's say rectangle. Spacing of hundred. And fifty. Fifteen. So now I've set up all my guidelines to create all the the rectangles that we need delete the guidelines and now we just start delete those line here and then we can just push back the spaces to give it some depth so say 15 
double click, double click, double click. So now we got our double leaf. Uh, as a group. And then I need to create um, the casing, I mean the facing around that door. Create another rectangle. Offset it by 100. Left the line at the bottom. Uh, extrude it by 50. Delete the face in the middle. Select everything. Make it as a group. Select the leaf as well. Make it a group. Okay, good. So now you get the front door and just need to repeat the same step for the one at the back. Let's go again, make a rectangle. Give it a thickness of 90. Offset the face. Or maybe for the back doors we don't need to do the design, but if you wanted to, you, you could do it. But let's just delete that face and create the, the casing around it. So, group that rectangle, offset it by 100. Make the plan here. And uh, extrude it 50. Make it as a group. Select the two element. And this time, because we want to make a copy on the other side, we're just going to make a component. Door zero 02 and from the inside press M control and make a copy. So now we got a door. And we're gonna turn off the wall layer, select all of this, make a group, create a door layer, and move it into place. Um, wall exterior and Windows. We can delete this. Get into the group. Delete this one. Cool. Let's see what it looks like with all the elements turned on. So you can select all the layers by pressing Shift. Don't need the reference. So that's a house for the moment.